Hey there everyone, welcome to a Minecraft Redstone tutorial here on the channel and within this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a button act like a lever in Minecraft and just very very quickly to kind of explain what I'm going at here we obviously have a button and a lever right here and buttons normally in the game only power redstone components for a short amount of time so as you can see they only give a short pulse of current or a short pulse of power however levers are a toggle state so they're either off or on now there is actually a way to make a button act like a lever essentially what we need to do is we need to attach or connect a toggle circuit of some kind to a button so that it acts like a lever and the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because quite a few people prefer to use buttons than actual levers. So I have a very simple example right here. We have a light switch connected to a redstone lamp. As you can see, if we use the button, the light turns on, but it doesn't turn off. As you can see, this is actually acting like a lever as you can see it's a toggle state circuit and i'm now going to show you how to actually make this how to actually add a toggle circuit to your button so that it can actually work like this and this is it it's a really simple circuit and as you can see right here we actually have powdered snow in this design and the reason why that is is that uh, powdered snow in my opinion is the best thing you can use in this design because you can technically use water or lava instead in this position but i use powdered snow for two reasons now the first reason is that if you use water or lava you need to actually close in the liquid so that can be kind of annoying to actually do for this circuit and the second reason is that if you use snow like this um, water can't be used in the never so if you used water this toggle circuit wouldn't work and obviously if you use lava in the never then it spreads quicker and it's just really cumbersome in the never as well so i think using snow is the best choice because it works in both dimensions and as you can see, it's a really simple circuit. So you've got powdered snow, a dispenser, a comparator, and a redstone line. That is it. I'm now going to show you basically uh, how to build this. So we're just going to get rid of these components right here. And what you need to do here is you need to make sure that the dispenser is actually connected up to the button. So it needs to be connected in some way. So in this case, I'm, I'm doing it so that it's going through the wall like this, but you can connect it to it via a wire as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, what you do is you need to uh, place the dispenser and then place the powdered snow on top like so. The dispenser needs to be facing upwards like that with the powdered snow right here, okay? And then once you've done that, you then place an empty bucket inside the dispenser. You then place the comparator right here, like so, and then you connect it up like this. So what you need to do is, if the toggle circuit is in the off state, the comparator will only output a signal strength of one, okay? Uh, but if you actually end up um, toggling the circuit right here, you'll see that it's now actually producing more signal strength or the power output from the comparator is higher. And you may have noticed that obviously the snow is now gone, okay? And the snow has been sucked up into the dispenser, okay? And when that does that, the comparator re-evaluates the contents of the dispenser and it produces a bigger signal strength. Now what you need to do is when you're actually building this, um, you need to have it so that um, you place one block of wire like this or one wire after the comparator with another redstone wire one block away from it like so. Now once you've placed the second piece of wire, you then connect up a redstone repeater to it 
And then after the redstone repeater, you then connect to whatever circuit you want, okay? So in this case, I'm connecting up to the lamp, but it could literally be anything. It could be a piston door, it could be a TNT cannon, it could be literally anything. And if you do this thing where you have two wire attached to the comparator with a repeater, you will have this toggle circuit working like a lever, as you can see. And it is as simple as that, folks. It is really that simple. Now, this isn't the only toggle circuit you can do in the game to actually allow a button to act like a lever. But I think it's a, you know very useful to redstone beginners. It's pretty simple to make and understand. And yeah, I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, then a like and subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified of any future videos on the channel. And be sure to follow my Twitter, which is in the description or on screen right now. And uh, have fun with this redstone. Hopefully you can attach this to some of your redstone creations you're doing in your world. But thank you for watching, everyone. Stay happy and healthy as always, and I'll see you next time.